there! Today, I will be talking about 55 Blast communities and active adult communities, their differences and similarities. The terms active adult community and 55 Plus community are often used interchangeably, but there are differences between the two groups. Many articles have been written and videos created about active adult communities and 55 plus communities that seem to be confusing people. Stay tuned, I will discuss this topic and give you some examples. Hello, my name is Lynn Alvarez, a realtor and broker with the Alley Group Real Estate in Charlotte, North Carolina. My husband Albert Alvarez and I have worked together for a combined 26 years in real estate. We specialize in active adult and 55 plus communities in Greater Charlotte. Active adult community is a general term for a community where adults over the age of 55 live and engage in many physical activities such as playing sports, biking, exercising, traveling, dancing, gardening, and enjoying the company of friends and neighbors in the same stage of life. These communities offer relatively maintenance-free, independent living with tons of amenities. In essence, you can say an active adult community is the same as the 55 plus community. There are two types of active adult communities. One, age-restricted, and two, age-targeted. What is an age-restricted community and who can live there? According to the Fair Housing Act, in order to qualify for the 55 or older housing exemption, a facility or community must satisfy each of the following requirements. At least 80% of the units must have at least one occupant who is 55 years of age or older and the facility or community must publish and adhere to policies and procedures that demonstrate the intent to operate a 55 or older housing and the facility or community must comply with the housing and urban developments requirements for age verification of residents as for owners or residents who are not yet 55, they must be over the age of 19 to live there. Children or anyone under 18 can visit up to 90 days per year. Now, I'll mention a couple of the popular age-restricted communities in the Charlotte area. I'll start with Trilogy Lake Norman in Denver, North Carolina. It has stunning amenities, elegant clubhouse with restaurant and bar. It is so popular that there is a long wait just to get a home site there. Do you want to live in Trilogy Lake Norman? There is a catch. And you guessed it right, you have to follow the regulatory requirements for a 55 plus community. Have you heard of imagery on Mountain Island Lake? It's a waterfront community for active adults over the age of 55. It's a beautiful 55 plus community on a peninsula on Mountain Island Lake with mature trees, rustic feel, and close to nature. It's a wonderful sought after community with all the amenities you could want. And yes, they will card you when you sign a contract. Imagery on Mountain Island Lake also has to make sure that homeowners comply with the community's age requirements. Oh, and we have heard from some people who are over 55 that a community cannot be a 55 plus community when some of the residents are younger than 55 years old. Well, it is possible that those residents who are younger fall within the 20% allowable amount for their neighborhood. Remember, the Fair Housing Act says that only 80% of the units must have at least one occupant who is 55 or older. Likewise, we've heard that these are retirement communities solely for people in the last stage of life. But even in a 55 plus community, I would say at least 15% of the residents are currently employed. 
These communities cater to people who wish to stay active and keep a young mindset. Hence, the term active adult community. If you'd like more information, I also have a video pros and cons of living in a 55 plus community that you can watch. What is an age-targeted community and who can live there? Age-targeted communities have no age restriction, but the communities will offer amenities that appeal to the active adult lifestyle, such as lawn maintenance. Anyone can live in this type of community. I know, I know, it is very confusing. So I'll give you an example. Regency at Palisades in Charlotte is a classic example of an age-targeted community that is marketed to the 55 plus age bracket but not limited to those over 55. Unlike an age-restricted community, Regency at Palisades does not have to comply with the housing and urban development's regulatory requirement for age verification. This community has many amenities for residents, pickleball, bocce ball, indoor and outdoor pools and others, but no playground or basketball court. Why? Because the builder is targeting 55 or active adults to buy into the community. Another new neighborhood is Sonata at Menhill with four side brick homes and great amenities. The builder there is marketing toward the 55 plus buyer as well, though any age can actually live there. Lastly, the Springs at Westport Club in Denver, North Carolina. The homes are gorgeous with full brick siding and stone accent, cathedral ceilings, and well manicured lawns. Lawn maintenance is included in the HOA dues, and there is no limitation on the age of occupants. By the way, most of these communities include lawn maintenance because residents are usually over 55 and don't want the hassle of maintaining their own lawn. So, to sum it up, the terms active adult community and 55 plus community are really synonymous and often used interchangeably. The main differentiator is whether they follow the age requirement established by the Fair Housing Act. Remember the terms age-restricted and age-targeted and how they apply to active adult or 55 plus communities. If you like this video, please like and share it and don't forget to subscribe to our channel below. If you're already subscribed, thank you so much. If you are looking to move to the Charlotte area and thinking about buying into an active adult community, call me at 704-975-2429 or visit our website at charlotteactiveadults.com. If you have any questions about this topic, please leave a comment below or if you need any clarification, you are very welcome to contact me. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. I will see you on my next video.